Good morning. The May 13, 2020 meeting of the Board of Estimates is now called to order. In the interest of promoting and maintaining health and safety as we continue to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic, the Board of Estimates continues to be streamed live virtually via WebEx. Uh, Madam Comptroller, are there any corrections and additions or deferrals on the agenda? Yes. Hold on. Can you can you see me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, oh, okay. Uh, I can't see you all. We can see you. Hold on a second. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Please note that there are no no protests were received for today's meeting. Please note that the Honorable Mayor Young will will. Um, okay, we'll abstain on page three, pages 43 through 44, page 56, items six and seven, and pages 67, 68, and 69. Please note that the Honorable President Scott will abstain on page three, page 43 and 44, page 56, items six and seven. Also note that the Honorable President will be abstaining on pages 34 through 35, pages, page 50, item eight, page 50, item nine, and page 51, item 10. Please note that the, that the comptroller will be abstaining on page 50, items eight and nine, page 51, item 10. Please note that the comptroller will, will be voting no on page 34, 35 through 35. Please note that the acting city solicitor, Dana Moore, will be abstaining on page nine, item one. And please note that there are no abstentions for acting director of public works, Matthew Garbark. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Madam Comptroller. Uh, before we before we go any further, I want to take a moment to uh, highlight an item on the agenda that we're going to approve today, and that's item on page nine, youth fund uh, disbursement. As we all know, this pandemic is having a devastating impact on our city's young people and our city vast technological uh, and digital divide means that many students who are now expected to learn from home simply do not have the basic equipment or ability to do so. Uh, today, uh, the board will be approving money from the Baltimore City Children and Youth Fund to go directly to the school system to be order in order to help our young people have the equipment and internet access to learn and continue their studies as they work digitally from home toward their future. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I want to personally thank you and your staff for being open to the idea when it was brought to you guys and working with me and Councilman Cohen, the school system and others to make it happen. Uh, this shows that Baltimore's leaders can put aside political issues uh, to do what is right and necessary for our young people who are our most precious resource. Uh, this is something that is a mission that we all know is needed and it's a mission that can and should be adapted uh, to meet the present need by using the children and youth front. At a time when our state leadership has denied our students the right to a 21st century world-class education, it shows that here in Baltimore, we can and are and will stand up and be the support system that our children need. And we know that we will go even further in the future. Uh, I would like to direct the board members' attention to the memorandum from my office dated May 11, 2020, identifying matters to be considered as routine agenda. Any corrections and additions that have been needed by the comptroller. I will entertain a motion to approve all of the items contained on the routine agenda. Mr. President, I move approval of all of the items on the routine agenda. I second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. The motion carries the routine agenda items have been adopted. Uh, Madam Solicitor, I know that you had something that you wanted to clarify. Um, I do. Thank you for uh, recognizing me. At last week's um, board meeting, we took up the 
question the the question of approval of a contract to a company called Lorenz and there was a there were a couple of protests and in deciding that the protest should not um, be, be adopted or accepted I made a statement that the law department had done a search and could not find any uh, complaints related to Lorenz or the mowing contracts um, and the appearance of the medians and that that troubled me because it was um, there was robust uh, presentation that there had been um, complaints made and I asked for the help of uh, our inspector general to see what complaints were documented and I was informed that a search of the city's 311 system uh, revealed more than 1000 complaints had come in uh, regarding the appearance of the medians and grass throughout the city of Baltimore and that was since January 2019 and since January 2020 137 complaints had come in so I clearly was wrong when I said that there were no complaints or that we couldn't find them uh, we checked with the Bureau of Procurement and they again confirmed yesterday that they didn't have any but the system that Baltimore uses to have uh, complaints uh, weighed in by the community was very robust and very full of complaints. And so I made a mistake when I said there were none. And um, I have I yesterday called the mayor yesterday personally apologizing to him for that error. And because I made the statement publicly, I wanted to apologize to him publicly. And um, I, I do that now. But I also wanted to apologize to the public who might have been and said, wait a second, I called and I complained. And, um, you know, we, we have a disconnect um, procurement and 311. And um, I will do better next time in hunting down complaints and issues. But I uh, just wanted to make sure that that was on the record. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Comptroller. Yes, um, Mr. President, I just want to make a statement. You know, the reason that I'm voting no on the consent agreement for medical waste management on pages 34 and 35 of, of this week's agenda. I certainly understand COVID-19 has altered the way government does business and requires quick action in response to unique circumstances. But I'm concerned that this agreement basically requires Baltimore City to store dangerous medical waste in our landfill at a time when the city is beginning to make progress on addressing sources of waste that pose health hazards to our residents. When April the 6th, the City Council adopted a resolution on Baltimore's fair development plan, plan for zero waste. The plan aimed, uh, this plan aimed directly at addressing inequitable health outcomes and harm to communities that arise from the city's waste disposal practices. I support the plan for zero waste as well as Mayor Young's administration's ongoing legal appeal to enforce, to, to enforce the Baltimore Clean Act against Bresco and Curtis Bay incinerators. I'm concerned that the city is committing itself to storing waste that could become a costly long-term liability and a hazard to our environment. And for all these reasons, I'm voting no on the MOU for the medical waste disposal at the Quarantine Road Landfill. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Comptroller. Thank you very much. Uh, there being no more business before the board, we will recess until bid opening at 12 noon. Also, please note the board will be in recess next Wednesday, May the 20th, and will reconvene May 27th at 2020. Thank you for tuning in. Please stay healthy and stay safe. Thank you. She's waiting on something. I'm waiting. They, they took it out. The uh, what I read it. They took it out the book. So James is going to get it. Oh. Dana, you call. Yeah. Live. Okay. Yeah, we are live. Yeah.
afternoon. The Board of Estimates is now in session for the receiving and opening of bids. In accordance with the directives of the mayor and governor prohibiting gatherings of more than 10 people and as part of the overall effort to limit transmission of COVID-19 virus, the COVID-19 virus, the Board of Estimates is conducting bid openings remotely. Members of the public can call in to listen to bid openings live by calling 443-984-1696 and entering access code 0817325. Board of Estimates meetings are also broadcast live on Charm TV, Channel 25 on Comcast Cable in Baltimore City. Meetings are also streamed <coughs> on the internet at www.charmtvbaltimore.com forward slash watch dash live. The Board of Estimates will continue to conduct bid openings remotely while the state of emergency declared by the Mayor of Baltimore and the Governor of Maryland remains in effect. I have two addenda to note, Bureau of Procurement B5000 5955 Group Violence Intervention Services Response Providers. Please change the bid due date from May the 6th to May 27th, 2020. Department of Public Works SC 926 RR Electrical Distribution System Reliability Improvements physical security upgrades and on-site power generation at the Patapsco Wastewater Treatment Plant. Please change the bid due date from May 13th, 2020 to May 27th, 2020. The Department of Public Works SC 954, Rehabilitation of Primary Settling Tanks 3 and 4. Please change the bid due date from May 13th, 2020 to May 27th, 2020. Thank you. The addendum are noted for the record. The first item to be received is DPW WC 1291 Wilkins Avenue, Frederick Avenue and vicinity water main replacement with a bid bond. First bidder is Spinelio Companies with a, bid bond. with a bid bond. Total dollar amount nine million one hundred thirty three thousand. Nine million one hundred thirty three thousand. The next bidder is Monumental Paving and Excavating, Inc. With a bid bond. With a bid bond. Total dollar amount $8,998,601.50. That's $8,998,601.50. The next bidder is Robert E. Harrington for R.E. Harrington Plumbing and Heating Company, Inc. With a bid bond. With a bid bond. Total dollar amount $9,398,300. $9,398,300. The next bidder is Metra Industries with a bid bond. With a bid bond. Total dollar amount $10,112,120. $10,112,120. The next bidder is Civil Construction LLC with a bid bond. 
total dollar amount $9,626,925. That's $9,626,925. And the last one is J. Fletcher Creamer and Son, Inc with a bid bond, total dollar amount $8,366,300. That's $8,366,300. Okay, these will be referred to the Department of Public Works. There being no more Business before this board, it is now in recess. Yeah, and we're not in session next week, correct? Right. Yes. The next one is May 27th. Okay. Great.